Larry Powell is the superintendent of the Fresno County School District, and he is willing to take a $800,000 pay cut within three years so he can save some of the programs that are happening within his school district. This is a really interesting story because he actually uh, decided to get fired from the school district and then rehired for only $31,000 a year. That, that He did it that way so that he could then have the power to spend that money on the projects he thought was better for the kids, right? right? He didn't want to just go and do a general slush fund, et cetera. You gotta understand something. This is the greatest guy in the country. He's right up there with a the guy who saved a seven-year-old from getting kidnapped, yes. okay? Who gives up $800,000 because they want the kids to have a better education? That's unbelievable. Like, in, in the right world, that's what all the superintendents should want. You know, they should all want the best for the kids and be willing to sacrifice for it because that's why they got into the profession in the first place. Mm -hmm. But in the real world, that's not how it works. And this guy gave up all that money and he says, look, we don't need the extra money. My wife and I have enough money to get by and, and I really want what's right for the kids and I'm about to retire and I just want to do things the right way. And he's like, and I'm surprised it's even a news story. Are you kidding me? You're like the only guy in the country doing something right. I know. It's like the biggest news story that, w that we have. Can you imagine bankers on Wall Street saying, yeah, I gave up $800,000 because I didn't think it was the right thing to do to take it from the people whose homes were being foreclosed because we gave them the shady mortgages in the first place. I gave it back. And the number of bankers doing that, zero, less than zero, okay? And if you say, hey, they're fat cats, they're like, how dare you? You're so anti-banker, you're anti-capitalist, et cetera. Now you got a guy who actually gives a damn. Right, I know. Who cares about it's, the kids. It's amazing. God bless your heart. I couldn't love you more. I know, and it's really rare. He says he doesn't need to stockpile the money, which is admirable. I really like it. Now keep in mind, he, he is well off. You know, He made so, mu so much money over the past, uh, you know, however long he was a superintendent. Keep in mind, he, that's $800,000 within the next three years. Divide that up. He was making a about two hundred eighty-eight thousand uh, dollars per year. Right. Right. Now, look, you can say that's too much for a school, school no, superintendent. No, I don't actually. I want. I want to come back to that. I don't because he's in charge of so many schools within this district. He runs three hundred twenty-five schools and thirty-five school districts uh, with one hundred ninety-five thousand students. Yeah, I just want to make a couple of things clear. First of all, he wasn't making that money throughout his career. He recently became school superintendent. He was deputy before, etc. Mm -hmm. at, at a lower rate and so this is his big payoff this is a big, big payday in a lot of ways and it's not like he was rich like his family was rich it's not like he was rich like he was a banker before whatever money he made he made working his way up and this is a guy's an amazing story he had polio when he was a kid and one leg was shorter than the other and they had to figure out how to shorten his his other leg and he sur he got past that and he said it was the biggest blessing of my life because it led so many other people to help me Oh, come on, this guy's unbelievable, right? And recognizes that you can't do anything without the help of others. And he said, given that all the people helped me in my life to, and he became a wrestling champion in high school after suffering through that disease and, and having wearing a brace his whole life, et cetera, that he now says, look, I wanna do the same help for others and I just don't need that much money, so I'm gonna give it back so the kids could have better programs in you know, kindergarten, et cetera. I'm declaring it. One of the top at least three best guys in the country. Larry Powell, congratulations.